Forli for Lee, listen, Romagnol, Furl, Latin, Forum Livi, is a commune and city in Emilia Romagna, northern Italy, and is the capital of the province of Forli Cesena. It is the central city of Romagna. The city is situated along the Via Emilia, to the right of the Montoni River, and is an important agricultural center. The city hosts many of Italy's culturally and artistically significant landmarks. It is also notable as the birthplace of painters Melozzo da Forli and Marco Palmezzano, humanist historian Flavio Biondo, physicians Geronimo Mercuriali, and Giovanni Battista Morgogni. The University campus of Forli, part of the University of Bologna, is specialized in economics, engineering, political sciences as well as the Advanced School of Modern Languages for Interpreters and Translators SSLMIT. Climate The climate of the area is humid subtropical CFA in the Köppen climate classification, with Mediterranean features, fairly mitigated by the relative closeness of the city to the sea. Forli is characterized by hot and sunny summers, with temperatures that can exceed 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit and even reach 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit during the hottest weeks of the year. Winters are cool and moist, with frequent fog. Occasionally the warm Sirocco wind blows from the south, bringing warmer temperatures for brief periods. History Ancient era The surroundings of Forli have been inhabited since the Paleolithic. A site, C.A. Belvedere of Monte Poggiolo, has revealed thousands of chipped flints in strata dated 800,000 years before the present era, which indicates a flint napping industry producing sharp edged tools in a pre Acheulean phase of the Paleolithic. Forli was founded after the Roman conquest of the remaining Gallic villages, about the time the Via Emilia was built. With no clear evidence, the exact date this occurred is still under debate, though some historians believe that the first settlement of the ancient Roman Forum was built in approximately 188 BC by consul Gaius Livius Salinator, the same that fought Hasdrubal Barca and vanquished him at the banks of the Metaurus River in 207 BC, who gave it the Latin name Forum Livi, meaning, the place of the gens Livia. Others argue the town may have been founded later, during the time of Julius Caesar. In 88 BC, the city was destroyed during the civil wars of Gaius Marius and Sulla, but later rebuilt by the praetor Livius Clodius. Middle Ages After the collapse of the Western Roman Empire, the city was incorporated into the realms of Odoacer and of the Ostrogothic Kingdom. From the end of the 6th century to 751, Forli was an outlying part of the Byzantine power in Italy known as the Exarchate of Ravenna. During this time the Germanic Lombards repeatedly took the city, in 665, 728, and 742. It was finally incorporated with the Papal States in 757, as part of the donation of Pepin. By the 9th century the commune had taken control from its bishops, and Forli was established as an independent Italian city-state, alongside the other communes that signaled the first revival of urban life in Italy. Forli became a republic for the first time in 889. At this time the city was allied with the Ghibelline factions in the medieval struggles between the Guelphs and Ghibellines, partly as a means of preserving its independence, and the city supported all the Holy Roman Emperors in their campaigns in Italy. Local competition was involved in the loyalties. In 1241, during Frederick II's struggles with Pope Gregory IX, the people of Forli offered their support to Frederick II during the capture of the rival city, Faenza, and in gratitude, they were granted an addition to their coat of arms the Hohenstaufen Eagle. With the collapse of Hohenstaufen power in 1257, Imperial Lieutenant Guido I da Montefeltro was forced to take refuge in Forli, the only remaining Ghibelline stronghold in Italy. He accepted the position of Capitano del Popolo, Captain of the People, and led Forli to notable victories, against the Bolognese at the Ponte di San Proculo, on 15 June 1275, against a Guelph allied force, including Florentine troops, at Civitella on 14 November 1276, and at Forli itself against a powerful French contingent sent by Pope Martin IV, on 15 May 1282, in a battle cited by Dante Alighieri, who was hosted in the city in 1303 by Scarpetta Ordlaffi, Inferno 27. In 1282, Forli, 
S forces were led by Guido da Montefeltro, while the French were under Jean D. Epi. The astrologer Guido Bonatti, advisor of Emperor Frederick II, too, was one of his advisors. The following year the city's exhausted senate was forced to cede to papal power and asked Guido to take his leave. The commune soon submitted to a local condottiere rather than accept a representative of direct papal control, and Simone Mestigera had himself proclaimed Lord of Forley. He did not succeed in leaving the new signori peacefully to an heir, however, and Forley passed to Maginardo Pagano, then to Ugucchoni della Fagiola 1297, and to others, until in 1302 the Ortlafi came into power. Local factions with papal support ousted the family in 1327-29 and again in 1359-75, and at other turns of events the bishops were expelled by the Ortlafi. Until the Renaissance the Ortlafi strived to maintain the possession of the city and its countryside, especially against papal attempts to assert back their authority. Often civil wars between members of the family occurred. They also fought as condottieri for other states to earn themselves money to protect or embellish forly. Modern age The most renowned of the Ortlafi was Pino III, who held the Signory of Forli from 1466 to 1480. Pino was a ruthless lord, nevertheless he enriched the city with new walls and buildings and was a sponsor of the arts. When he died aged 40, under suspicion of poisoning, the situation of Forli was weakened as factions of Ortlafi fought one another, until Pope Sixtus IV claimed the Signory for his nephew Girolamo Riario. Riario was married to Caterina Sforza, the indomitable lady of Forli whose name is associated with the city's last independent history. Forli was seized in 1488 by the Visconti and in 1499 by Cesare Borgia, after whose death it became more directly subject to the Pope than ever before, apart from a short-lived return of the Ortlafi in 1503-1504. In June 1796, during the French Revolution, Jacobine French troops entered the city, with Napoleon arriving on 4 February 1797. The French general recruited local officials and soldiers, resulting in political turmoil between 1820 and 1830, with risings in 1821, including the revolutionary movement of the Carbonari in 1831 and 1848. Napoleon Louis Bonaparte, Napoleon I's nephew who was involved with the Carbonari, died there in 1831. In the 19th century, Forli was part of the Italian Unification or the Risorgimento, a political and social movement that agglomerated the different states of the Italian peninsula into the single state of Italy. The citizens of Forli were particularly inspired by military figure Giuseppe Garibaldi, who at this time was a commander. However, the city and its farmers had difficulty adapting to agrarian reform under the unification, thus lending rise to republican and socialist parties. Forley participated considerably during World War I, resulting in it being awarded the Fulcheri Paolucci de Calvoli gold medal. Afterwards in the 1920s, Benito Mussolini became actively involved in the local politics, before becoming dictator of Italy a situation that remained for 20 years before the start of World War II. The war left the city with destroyed monuments and artistic losses, such as the Church of San Biagio, which included frescoes by Melozo da Forli. After the war, however, the city experienced a quick economic recovery, entering a new stage of democratic life. Economy Forli is a prosperous agricultural and industrial center, with manufacture primarily focused on silk, rayon, clothing, machinery, metals, and household appliances. Government Main sites Forli is the location of various buildings of architectural, artistic and historical significance, that include frescoes as part of their decorations. At the heart of the city sits the Piazza Aurelio Safi, which includes a statue of Italian politician Aurelio Safi, who was an important figure in the radical republican current within the Risorgimento movement, headed by Giuseppe Mazzini in the 19th century. 
The Piazza Safi also includes the Abbey of San Mercuriale, named after Saint Mercurialis, a bishop of the city who died in the 5th century, which is the main religious building in the city, and contains the famed sepulcher of Barbara Monfredi. Also of note is the Dominican Church of San Giacomo Apostolo, better known as the Church of San Domenico, a late medieval church built in the 13th century in the southern part of the town. Other medieval buildings include the Rocca di Rivaldino, a fortress enlarged in the 14th century by the Ordlafi and Gil de Albornoz, and later in the 15th century. The city hosts the Palazzo Herculani, with decorations dating from the 19th century, containing the artwork La Beata Vergine del Fuoco con i Santi Mercuriali, Pellegrino, Marcolino e Valeriano by Italian painter Pompeo Randi. The Palazzo del Podesta is a civic building which was frescoed by Adolfo de Carolis in the 20th century. Forli has parks located in green areas, including the Parco della Resistenza, Resistance Park, City Park, and the Parco di Via Dragoni, which provides performance facilities alongside standard amenities. The Teatro Diego Fabri is a theater opened in September 2000. People the most well-known painter of the commune was Melozzo da Forli, who worked in Rome and other Italian cities during the brief years of the High Renaissance. Other Forlivi's painters were, Ansuino da Forli, Marco Palmezzano, Francesco Menzocchi, Livio Agresti. Together, they formed the Forli Painting School. Carlo Signani was not born in Forli, but near Forli, but painted important works there. Other notable Forlivi's people are, Alessandro Cortini, one half of Modwilmood and keyboard player in Nine Inch Nails Marco Sabiu, musician and composer Ercoli Baldini Ilario Bandini, constructor of performance sports and race cars Pietro Bandini, missionary who worked with Italian-American immigrants Flavio Biondo Cesare Herculani Giovanni Battista Sirai Saint Peregrine Laziosi Alessandro Franceschi, Bishop of Forli 1594-1597 Geronimo Mercuriali Giovanni Battista Morgogni Aurelio Safi Giulietta Simeonato, operatic mezzo-soprano, 1910-2010 Gino Mattarelli, politician Claudio Chifo, Catholic singer-songwriter Caterina Sforza Matteo Montaguti, cyclist Loris Rajani, motorcycle road racer Enrico Teodorani, writer Alice, famous Italian singer, winner of Sanremo Festival in the period from between 1265 and 1 May 1315, Peregrino Laziosi lived in Forli. Territorial subdivisions Forli is divided into territorial subdivisions, or frazione. Villa Franca di Forli Villafranca di Forli is a hamlet depending from the municipality of Forli, located on the north side of the main town, and spans over a territory sited on the west side by the river Montoni. The hamlet was the birthplace of Benito Mussolini's mother, Rosa, an aerodrome, with a runway approximately 800 meters 2, feet long and 29 meters 95 feet wide, is close to the hamlet. It is used as a landing field for Ulm and RC model aircraft. It is the seat of the flight school Ali Socorso belonging to the civil defense. This recreational aerodrome is complementary to Forli's main airport, south of the city. Other frazioni Transport Forli Railway Station is on the Bologna-Ancona line. Opened for use in 1926, it replaced the original station, which had been in use since 1861. The passenger building of the original station still stands, about 100 meters 330 feet, west of the present station. 
Forley Airport was closed on 29 March 2013 due to bankruptcy of the company that ran it. The nearest airports operated by commercial airlines are currently Federico Fellini International Airport near Rimini and Bologna Guglielmo Marconi Airport near Bologna. Twin towns Forli is twinned with Aveiro, Portugal Borges, France Peterborough, United Kingdom Zolnok, Hungary Plot, Poland. In popular culture. Somerset Maugham's second novel The Making of a Saint, 1898, is set in late 15th century Forley under Girolamo Riario. The city is featured in the 2009 video game Assassin's Creed II, where Ezio Auditore has to defend it against the Orsi brothers with Machiavelli and Caterina Sforza. Forley is shown with prominent landmarks. References Bibliography See also, Bibliography of the History of Forley External links Forley, Italia.it The Forley Campus of the University of Bologna Almanaco di Forli, an almanac of the most important events and chronicles of Forli. For Live, For Live. Basket Team Forli. Forli and the Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th edition.